Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today I'm going to tell you how you can use more than one SD card, micro SD card rather, on your Nintendo Switch so that you don't have to go forking out an absolute fortune on one of those giant 200 gigabyte cards and make the most of your Switch. Thankfully, it's really, really easy and straightforward. You don't need any other kind of tools or anything like that. You'll just need more than one micro SD card. It's as simple as that. All you need to do is switch off your Nintendo Switch. Now, do bear in mind that I say turn off or switch off, power off, whatever you like. Do not just put it into sleep mode. You need to hold the power button down until the option appears to shut it down fully. Then, when it's fully powered off, you need to turn the switch over and lift up the kickstand to find the original micro SD card that you have have in there. Simply pop it out and replace it with your other micro SD card. And yeah, you've pretty much done all of it already. It really is super, super simple. But when you do turn it on, there is a couple of other things you're gonna need to take into account. Obviously, any of the games that you downloaded on your original micro SD card will not be there on your new micro SD card, but the icons will be. All you need to do is just press A on the one that you want to download. You'll download the game once again from the internet onto your new micro SD card. And of course, you can do this with new games that you buy from the eShop as well. The great thing about this is that all of your save data is already on the Switch's internal storage. So even if you're using another micro SD card, your save data is still there. This allows you to have a huge amount of storage without buying a very expensive micro SD card. You just need to know what games are on which micro SD card. And if you keep it to a few, maybe two, absolutely three at the maximum, it should be fairly easy to just swap between the two and find which one's on what. Nice. Yes, it's not quite as convenient as buying a gigantic card and just keeping that in there permanently, but at the same time you're going to be saving yourself an awful, awful lot of money because those big cards, they are they're seriously pricey. Just be careful that you don't take a micro SD card out when the switch is actually on. Make sure it's powered down each time because otherwise horrible things can happen. You know the whole sort of safely remove hardware and stuff like that from Windows and Mac? It's, it's, it's the same principle. Don't do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you switch out that subscribe button with another subscribe button which has absolutely nothing on it. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,